Hello everyone, today I'm playing the Isle of Rima. This is actually a really old video where I was meant to be showing off the Hipsy. The Hipsy's a tiny little feathered birdie one, we all know this by now. Absolutely adorable. I was very excited for it. So I tried out the official EU2, because as we know, Rima's not very populated. It was actually one of my only options. I spawned right in with a Kano, a little baby Juby Kano. And he looks as confused and lost as I felt. I remember not knowing what to do. There's not so much you can do in Arima yet, it's basically a glorified demo. <laughs> Collision's been added, as you saw there. I was surprised by that. Collision is nice to have. There's supposed to be like area damage now too to limbs. I think that's great too. So, I'm just exploring as a hipsy. Now I was eating, I wanted to see what the eating animation was like. Hipsy being one of the few herbivores I ever play. I, um, I don't often play herbivores. Again, this video was meant to come out a long, long time before it did. So it is basically a bit of a showcase. Oh, I know what happens here, I remember. I was wandering around minding my own business, and you'll see what happens. It made me jump out of my skin. Did you hear it coming? Did you hear any feet? I didn't. So this is where I'm showing off the cool stuff, so the first cool, which is the broadcast and the friendly. I like his little head feathers. I think they move a bit erratically though, they're a bit bizarre. It's a very cute dinosaur though. Yeah, cool. The sleep, I, I'm, I'm still not sure how I feel about the whole sleep mechanics, sleeping to safe log out and all this and that. Hard to see danger approaching. Look at those cute little eyes. Okay, little, they're big. The one thing I was disappointed about, oh, here I'm playing around with the direct movement. It's very bizarre coming from the official, well, not official, I mean, legacy branch of the aisle to then this, because the movement's completely different. It feels very natural and nice though. This is the snippet. It has a very weird sniff animation, very bird-like. I mean, it is a bird, but... <laughs> bird dinosaur. And now the best thing a hipsy can do, the wallow. Look at the little hands. It's got like little rodent-y hands, like a little rat. I've had some pet rats in my time, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Look at those hands. Then I start playing as a Yuta. Me and Shadows didn't play too much. Look in the background. So there's a Stego crossing the water, right? Oh, Stego's gone. I encountered so many bugs when I was playing Arima because I was just trying it out like everyone was. This is an old video, so this was just as the Hipsy landed, basically. I'm a little baby Yuta. See, I've got sated health. I ate too much when I was sick. I think it goes on its own. I'm listening out, I can hear other Yutas. That stego, it's still over there. It's dead. It, it's ragdolling in the water, like flicking around like mad. I did later see people in the chat actually saying they lose fully grown stegos and whatnot when crossing water. I just thought, oh. I was just watching it for a while. I'm going to run and have a little look at it. I do a sniff, right, to confirm it's actually dead. So I see the bodies there, which are just two little carnos, I think, and a baby Utah. And the Sego is in fact dead. It's got blood coming from it. I'd be absolutely gutted if I lost a full-grown Sego to a water bug, let's be honest. It's ridiculous. Ah well, at least I'm okay. And I'm running along. I think at this point, me and Shadows are very close. He sees a carcass and I'm like, wait, I can sniff them out. He's a hipsy. So he can't, I, I don't know, can ever before sniff them out? Perhaps I'm wrong, I haven't played Rima or the Isle. There he is. There's Shadows. There's the buddy. Oh, rubber banding. That's another staple thing to a Rima. The little rubber banding lag of Shadows. 
We spent such a long time to actually find each other. The grouping is dreadful. It was night time as you saw in the clip before. So we slept in the trees until day because we couldn't see anything. So I'm bigger. He's the same. I don't know if hipsies grow. They start off small, they stay small. The ute is not that much bigger. I'm still... I, I don't know what the seamless growth. It's hard to tell. Oh. Shadows is trying to shoot something. Did you see that rubble abandon? Look at this combat. I don't even know what's happening. This was just the server mind. Everyone in the chat was saying the same. My ping was fine, nothing was downloading, there's good internet here, so it was honestly just the game. It's unfortunate. It really is, because I would enjoy the game. If, well, it wasn't rubber banding all the time. It makes combat near enough impossible. It could be fixed by now. Again, this is old, which is unfortunate, because had this landed while current, it would have been far more interesting, and I would have known what to have said. But, there you go. So me and Shadows decided to go for a little walk. I'm actually a baby again. I'm not sure what happened. I can't remember. I do the voiceovers after scene. I edited this. Oh, Cardo! You <laughs> see Shadows jump and he just like teleports into its mouth. Well, he's been had. Cardo's in this game, right? In a Vrima. They just eat everything. Oh, I was had, I think, after twitching out like that. Now I'm a little baby, baby stackle. Again, don't play herbivore as much, but Stego were cute, so I thought, okay. I know a lot of people preferred their old animations where they kind of look like they're floating as they run. I don't like that. I like how they look in this. <laughs> much better in Arima than in Legacy, that's for sure. So I see some Carnos. I remember this, actually. I see some Carnos, and it's the first players I've seen for a long time. It's so hard to find anyone because the spawn points are so far apart and just... Everyone knows already. You know how dreadful it is in Arima, let's be honest. I've heard they're changing it now, though. Or maybe they did in this. Hmm, can't remember. <laughs> oh, Kano tried to bite me. And again. Missed both times. So I'm like, look, I'm not trying to fight. I'm just, hello, baby. <laughs> Help. I've got food. I think I hit him then with my tail big clunky slow animation of the tail swing i know when you're fully grown you can actually impale things on your tail so it's, oh got him right in the face oh he got me too that was a trade and i'm only a baby i shouldn't be trading he's saying so is he hurt i don't know that little baby I, I could get that baby probably but the baby's just watching the baby's there for the ride Carlo doesn't know what to do. I like the little skid you see when he stops, where he like slides a little bit. The direct movement or whatever it's called. I do like that. Carlo doesn't know what to do. Oh, what was that? Teleported away. Baby you to try to bite me. Little nuisance they are. I don't know what's happening now. The carnivores look perplexed by my existence. I think the little Carlo is trying to kill the baby you I don't know. I think he's dead. I don't see him anymore. Oh, he took his opportunity as I started to wallow. So at the end of it, I met this really cool stego group, actually. There was loads of us, loads of stegos. A bit laggy here because we were at the lake. For some reason, I lag there in the swamp a bit. There were lots of babies. There was like five babies and all these adults were protecting us. And they were doing a great job at it because they had to align themselves so a big pack of uters couldn't get us because at this point... We're at the water's edge because there are uters after us and they were after us for a while. The adults did a brilliant job in protecting us though. Because obviously collision now isn't it? So they couldn't run through and just bite us and kill us inside them and all this and that. It made for much more immersive and fun gameplay. Especially being a herbivore. I actually really enjoyed it. Ah, that's the one thing. I don't like the maximum groups. Only four stegos in a group? Really? For a herbivore? I don't know, it's bizarre. I wonder if they're going to be changing that group limits. As... In fact, it's annoying to enter a group by just doing a friendly call, because I do friendly calls all the time. I spam calls all the time. So having that pop up quite regularly, hmm, I didn't like that. The eaters are still here, see? I heard a hipsy then. But yeah, the eaters harassed us for like the majority of the night. 
the stego just charging in. It, w it was a lovely mix pack, I'll give them that. I do like a stego. So that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching to the very end. I know this video was very disorganised and it didn't make too much sense. As I said countless times, I recorded this footage in about December, I think. It was going to be my last video of 2020. But I never had the gumption to edit, you know, with the holidays going on and everything that was happening. I was very busy. But I want to say a big thank you to Shadows, big thank you to Tombow, Hop and Joan Bone. They've been super, super supportive. There's been loads of you very supportive. There's been Mink Cat, there's been Nightmare Spire, there's been just all of you in the Discord server, which is another thing I'm here to mention. Um, you've probably seen from Shadows videos, because I know the majority of you that watch this probably watch Shadow stuff, but we have a Discord server that I made myself, actually. Um, we have animals, we have art, we have other games there, just any games, mainly dinosaurs, you know, that's the key subject, but we talk about anything, it's friendly atmosphere. So feel free to come join it if you want to say hello to either of us. And again, thank you so much for watching the video. Next time it will make more sense, I think next time I'm going to play Path of Titans, which is another dinosaur game which I'm excited about, because I haven't actually tried it other than the demo. So that will be good. I'm not sure how to end this, but... <laughs> Thank you for sticking to the very end, and goodbye.